that. I'm wearing it tonight with a green sari. It has red embroidery and I think the red stones would sort of go well with it. Ali Salim is beginning his transformation. Okay, now you're going to learn my personal shaving technique. Soon he'll be ready to take centre stage as Begum Nazawish Ali, the host of the hottest television talk show in Pakistan. This is called, the process is called threading. But he won't be appearing as Ali Saleem, rather as his alter ego, a chat show queen with a sharp tongue and a love of fine sequined saris. Transforming into a high society dame, or a begum as they're called in Pakistan, takes time. But patience has its rewards. I'm going to be the most talked about woman in Pakistan. I'm just going to be the biggest diva this country has ever produced. <laughs> as the begum, a snobby, gossipy, middle-aged woman, he flirts with his guests, asking questions few would dare. From Pakistani standards, I push the boundaries. I mean, I really push them uh, hard. Because uh, from, for Pakistani standards, a woman sitting and even remotely flirting with a man uh, on telly was, not the, was never done before, before our show. The concept was very original. That's what um, caught our fancy. And it hadn't been done before in this country, at, at least in this part of the world. So we were quite excited about it. Ali is extremely talented. He's been on theater and television uh, before this show for a number of years. So uh, we were well aware of what he's capable of. Tonight's guests, a female politician and a male model, won't admit they're nervous. But they both know they'll have to be on their guard. Well, you can never be prepared with, uh, with the Begum. She's uh, a very interesting character. I think she's very spontaneous, very funny and uh, very lethal. I hear the Begum is a very tough interview. You have to be on your toes. It doesn't, doesn't um, matter. If he is tough, I'm also rough. Late Night with Begum Nazawish Ali is broadcast on Arj TV, Pakistan's third main private channel and one of dozens that have sprung up under liberalised media laws introduced by military ruler Pervez Musharraf. <laughs> What's happened with the media boom is that all of a sudden you've got all these channels coming up with all kinds of shows that were taboo. Political shows uh, that discuss the army, shows that criticize the government, shows that take up social issues. So this is just one step in that. Only, of course, is being conducted by a female impersonator. Step right in. Bushra Rahman. First to appear tonight, Bushra Raymond, a feminist writer and government MP. She was true to her word about being no easy target. موسیقی Acha, tell me, um, uh, where's your uh, wife? Is she here or is she in London? You know, I have to say, where were you then? That's what I want to know. <sighs> Bakar, it's you never ditched me. How could you I do that? I did not ditch you. I don't even understand. I mean, what was the big hurry, uh, darling? Abhi to tumhare doon ke daan nahi gire the, aur itni jaldi tumne shaadi kar li. Ali Saleem says a lady can get away with a lot. It just depends on how it's done. Even when Begum Nawazshali is being bitchy, which she has to be considering the demands of the character, she's doing it in such a sweet way 
it never offends anybody and i guess that's the secret of of uh, the fa- of uh, or, or the secret why she's liked so much but there are limits to how far charm will take you in pakistan when you're a cross dressing tv host aaj maine apne ha ek buzurg shakhsiyat ko daawat de rakhi hai jinka taluq jamaat e islami se hai unke yahan aane mein mera hi fayda hai इसलिए उनको ज्यादा लंबा इंतजार नहीं करवाऊंगी अभी दावत दिए देती हूं तशरीफ ले आइए नेमतुल्ला साहब About six months ago, the then mayor of Karachi, Nimatullah Khan, a conservative Islamic party leader, agreed to appear on the show. Um Nimat Sahab um Karachi ke nazim ki haisiyat se aapne is shehar ke liye bahut kaam kiya on stage as the begum attempted to woo him nimatullah khan did not appear to be won over aur main aapke sath puri tarah muttafiq hu aap ye dekhe ki hum dono bhi hath safed posh hain aapne safed rang ka shalwar kameez aur maine safed rang ki saadi but he wasn't too bothered when the begum's own political aspirations surfaced i promise you i'm very honest very sincere and very very patriotic mujhe prime minister banne ka shauk hai meri support karwa dijiye na please dekhiye koi prime minister to aise nahi bana karta prime minister main woh to hua na ki batkishpati pakistan ke hai yahi later when members of his party complained about his appearance he claimed he didn't know that the begum was a man until the moment they first met on stage i'm swearing by allah that i did not i had not seen that program before i had not heard about that program before i don't like these things i don't like these things but is it on islamic it's also on islamic yes how is it on islamic it's also unfortunate god you know if god has made you a boy you should always remain a boy if god has made you a girl you should come before the public as a girl for all the recriminations he says he's had to suffer this political player knows the show was a chance to get his message out to the masses how come muslims today have failed in diplomacy How come Muslims today all around the world puri duniya ke andar dekha jaye to musliman sabse zyada badnaam hai you, you hmm. are very true hmm. you are very true i agree with you hmm. we have utterly failed hmm. as umma we have utterly hmm. failed hmm. in uh, proving hmm. yeah in displaying islam as it is hmm. we have utterly failed why because we don't have proper leadership Well I'm telling you whoever com- whoever complained and commented on this on my going to that program I asked him and her have you seen that program complete program so no please see it and anybody who has seen the program in total he is he is full of praise for my comments for my discussion for the things which I have tried to convey to that to that channel to the people of pakistan assalamualaikum assalamualaikum ali salim is no stranger to controversy he first came to public attention for his take on former prime minister benazir bhutto who now lives in dubai in self imposed exile jo aise kiye hain wo patriot hai aur hum ex patriot <laughs> they have put the mark in democracy ali admires the two time prime minister his pitch perfect portrayal was not total satire but part homage to her you know she was a popular leader she represented people's aspirations she spoke about people she was not a dictator she was not an army general she was a beautiful woman a girl in a in a society which was suppressed uh, oppressed Benazir Bhutto sees herself as a political contender but fears corruption charges she would face if she returned to Pakistan Aap siyasat mein kyun aayi apne haathon ki wajah se kya matlab ek din humne dekha ki hamare dono haath khali hain But however well meaning this parody in some quarters it was not appreciated 
It took intervention from his father, a former tank commander, to save his son from those in Benazir Bhutto's own party who could not see the humour in what Ali was doing. I'm going to put him sing. Uh, I was worried, obviously, as a father. So I took certain me measures to see that no harm comes to him. What sort of measures do you take in Pakistan for that? Well, I spoke to uh, the concerned party leaders and I tried and explained to them that uh, he's merely uh, keeping your leader alive while this leader is away from the country. This is in his role as Benazir Bhutto. Are you that's talking? right, that's yeah. right. <laughs> Tonight, Ali is watching his show go to air with his friend, fashion designer Sheikh Amir Hassan. On all the red carpets at the moment, so it's always I'm his date. And not a date as a boyfriend, but because when he's Begum Nawaz Ali, he's my nephew. I'm he's my favourite nephew, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and Auntie needs to go out with a male escort, right? So he's always so kind, ever so kind, really. <laughs> what does it mean to be able to to come out and be anything different than heterosexual, to be anything other than that? I'm very glad you've asked that. Because, um, as we all know, in Pakistan, <coughs> everyone sort of lives a double life. It's really full of hypocrites. Gay or straight or whatever, that's not bisexuality. They're just hypocrites. No one speaks the truth. In Pakistan, Ali Saleem is remarkable. He is open about his sexuality. I'm not gay, by the way. I'm not. And if at all, if, I, if you want me to define my sexuality, I'm a trisexual, and that's with a Y, you know? I'll try anything that's sexual. I mean, what does it matter, man? What does it matter? So this what turned it. For Ali's mother, Fazana Saleem, this program offers something for everyone. What do your women friends say to you about the show? They like it. They really love it. Love him. <laughs> and what about men? <laughs> they enjoy it. Today, Ali Saleem is just being himself. You got something. There's something about you, girl. In the port city of Karachi's main market, dressed in daytime dag, not drag, his fans express their admiration for his weekly transformation. At first, actually, it was unbelievable to feel, uh, to see that Nawaz Ali was really a man, you know. But after we saw him, we saw his interviews in the newspaper and all, it was difficult yet to believe it. I was trying to look at his face and see what he looks like, where is his female part coming from. Though he's manly, but he appears very femaleish. His sari especially and his blouses, oh my God. <laughs> They also praise his willingness to challenge those who hold real power. I, I wish we, there were more bold people like you are. I know. I yeah. know. So what do you do? I, I, know. Uh, I am into teaching. Teaching? Okay. Yes, okay. Training and teaching. Okay. That's, that's really nice. But really nice meeting you. And thank you so much. Great. Really, thanks a lot. I think, you know, every time people come up to me and say good things to me, you know, I thank my Allah even more for the fact that, you know, I've been successful and it's, it's good that they, you know, they know where I'm coming from and they understand, you know, they understand me and they can sort of appreciate me really.